Good morning, friends. I'm Mrs. Arms, and welcome to this fourth Sunday of Advent. This day in Sunday school, we are going to talk about the journey to Bethlehem, which is similar to the sermons we've heard this Advent season in the series, The Road to Bethlehem. We're going to remember some important parts of the journey, and remember that this is a journey that we are all on together. So first, in the journey to Bethlehem, we remember the prophets. The prophets pointed the way to Bethlehem. They didn't know exactly what was going to happen there, but they are on the journey to Bethlehem, and today we remember the prophets. Next, we remember the Holy Family. We remember Father Joseph, Mother Mary, and the donkey. And we remember their long, hard journey to Bethlehem. And it is a journey that we are on with them. Today, we remember the Holy Family. Third, we remember the shepherds who were tending to their flock one night. And all of a sudden, a bright light filled the sky and they were so afraid. Then an angels began singing and they were still afraid until the angel said, do not be afraid for I bring you good news. Go to Bethlehem. And we are on this journey with them. Today, we remember the shepherds. Next, we remember the three kings or the wise men. They were so smart and they would study stars. And they saw a wild star one night in the sky, a, a star they weren't familiar with. And they followed the star. It led them to Bethlehem. And they were late. Um, baby Jesus had already been born, but they were still on the journey to Bethlehem. So today we remember the three kings or the wise men. Now the wise men brought, oh, our kitty cat wants to learn about the wise men. The wise men or three kings brought gifts to Jesus when they arrived. And every year at Christmas, we all make wish lists of what we would like, maybe the new greatest game or a new book you want or something fun to play with. But what would do you think might be on Jesus's wish list this year? This has been a very different year where we have gone to school and then we weren't able to go to school. We haven't been able to come to worship together at church or come to Sunday school in person. So I wonder what is it that Jesus wants for us, for our church, for all of his people this year for Christmas? I would love for you to talk with your families about what you think he would want and maybe what they think he would want for Christmas this year. Friends, let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for our time together for Sunday School this morning. Thank you for our church family that we are all on this journey to Bethlehem with. Thank you for Jesus and thank you for this special Advent season. Amen. Friends, thank you for spending time with us on this Sunday morning and Sunday school, and we will see you again soon.